you want to graph a quadratic equation, a quadratic function in from standard form, the first thing we need to do is find the axis of symmetry. The axis, x is equal to negative b over 2a, which is negative 4 over 2 times negative 1, or negative over negative is positive 2. So we want to first graph that axis of symmetry at x equals 2. Label it, x equals 2. From there, my vertex is found by uh, the axis of symmetry. That axis of symmetry is my x, is the x-coordinate, 2. So now I have to find the y-coordinate by plugging 2 back into the equation, y equals negative 4 plus 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2. So y is equal to negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4 minus 2, or y is equal to 2. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to plot my vertex at 2, 2, right there. Next, I'm going to use my a value. Remember, this is in standard form, so we know that this is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. My a value here, a, is equal to negative 1. That means this thing is going to be facing down, and I can use this. It acts like a slope. It isn't a slope, but it acts like it. We go down 1 over 1. And there's two points right there. I need two more points. And those two more points are going to come from plotting x and y. And I'm going to, and I'm going to choose, choose two points beyond what I've already done. My axis of symmetry is at 2. The two points I plotted are at 1 and 3. So let's plug in 0 and 4, just beyond those two points, and see what happens. As I plug this in, y is equal to negative 0 plus 0 minus 2. That's easy, y equals 2. If we do the same thing for 4, we plug that in, we get y is equal to negative 4 squared is 16 plus 16, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 2. And again, we get negative 2. So those two points are going to be 0, negative 2, and 4, negative 2. And that allows me to plot my, or graph my parabola, which is 5 points. Missed that, didn't I? Close enough. And we're done graphing.